If something negative happens to you, seek the forgiveness of Allah. And the condition of your heart will determine whether it was a punishment or not. If your heart is made distant from Allah because of something that happened to you, that is a punishment. And if your heart became closer to Allah as a result of something that happened to you, it was the biggest blessing. Whether positive or negative is besides the point. You know what that means? Some people get a lot of money, they get a good job, they have a lovely family, they forget Allah. That's a punishment. Why? It was something that looked positive, but it drove you away from Allah. It took you to the clubs and it took you to bad habits. If that's the case, it was a punishment. It's not a blessing. Something looking good was not a blessing because it drove you away from Allah. And on the other hand, something that was looking so bad, you lost your job, you lost your limbs, you had an accident, someone passed away, etc. If it made you come for salah and change your life, wallahi, that was a blessing from Allah. Anything that brings you close to Allah is a blessing. That's why sometimes a person gets sick and he's a wealthy guy and he says, I'm going to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Doctor says, we're doing all the tests. He said, yes, we're doing the tests. He gets the MRI and he gets this done and that done. Pause for a moment. May Allah grant shifa to all those who are sick and ill. Say, Amin. All those who are sick and ill. And may Allah protect us all. Amin. So he gets everything done and you know what? Uh, they don't know what's the story. Why? My brother, you don't do your salah on time. You're not worshipping Allah. You're far from Allah. You're engaged in sin and so on. And Allah loves you enough to make you realize that it's only in the hands of Allah. So you'll go to the doctors and you should. But if nothing happens, nothing comes out one after the other. And then the doctor tells you, you know what? You only have six months to live. A person who... That statement draws closer to Allah is actually blessed. And the other one will get frustrated, start questioning Allah. Why are you doing this to me? Why me? I've got little children. Forget about it. You're not the first person with little children who's got six months to live. And by the way, when they say six months to live, it's not even cast in stone. Because you might live for another 60 years. Who knows? It's only a statement. They might be totally wrong. They, how many people have left, for example, healthy and they've died without a problem? And how many people have been told 24 hours to go, 24 years still? They're saying, Salam alaikum, Buddha. <laughs> MashaAllah, may Allah grant us ease. Rely on Allah. If anything brings you closer to Allah, it is a blessing.